Hey folks, it's Cornell with YouTube Fishing Vids. We just got started. Paul and I are out here getting ready to practice. We are practicing for the uh, fourth stop of the FLW BFL Piedmont Division. Paul's hooked up on a topwater bass here on the Chickahominy River. I was just going to do an intro, but it, it didn't take long. We've been out here for about five minutes. It's 6 a.m. We got a gorgeous sunrise behind us, and we're way up top. We're way at the top of the Chickahominy. Is it a nice one? Paul's got a nice fish, guys. Let's take a look at what he's got here. Wow, what do you got, buddy? It's running. It hit on top. It's, it's definitely a bass. It's a bass. If it's a bass, it's a nice one. It's a nice giant. Oh my God. I cannot believe you just caught this fish on the first time. You want me to lip it? Yeah, yeah. All right, my gosh. Guys, look at what, look what, what did you just say? <laughs> Paul's acting like it's a, it's a giant though, so guys. It is a giant. Would you look at what Paul just caught? Paul, did you just catch this on I top water? Where did you catch it? On the pads. On the pads. <laughs> Paul was seeing all kinds of breaking fish, and I said, Paul, we got to get out right on the pads and catch an absolute giant. I don't know what to say, dude. I'm, I'm literally, I'm speechless, guys. We just got out here. It's been five minutes, <laughs> and uh, again, let's 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 recap what's going on. It's 6 a.m. We're at the top of the Chickahominy. We camped at a little yurt at this little campground over by the dam on the Chickahominy, and Paul just threw this uh, popper and nailed this giant. Paul, you gotta weigh that fish. <laughs> Would you look at that right there? Absolutely incredible. So you're gonna be seeing this, guys, after the tournament's over, and this is day one and the first five minutes of practice. Paul, I think we got something going on, don't we? Yes. We're gonna weigh this fish, guys, stay tuned. Guys, I I'm telling you right now, Paul just caught a seven and a half pound bass for his first, turn that fish around, let me see it. I don't see its belly. It's got a pretty, the belly's not as big as it could have been. I'm telling you guys, this is an eight pound bass if it had a bigger belly than that. Paul, that's incredible, dude. Absolutely incredible on a top water. Little popper, dude. We saw all kinds of top water activity and we made a point to get out here early. All right, guys, that's insane. That's absolutely one of the most incredible first catches I've ever seen in such a short time. So again, let's just uh, recap. This is the FLW BFL Piedmont Division practice day one. It's a Thursday. The tournament's in two days. You will be seeing this video after the tournament. I am a co-angler. Paul is a boater. If he pulls something like that off on day one with his first fish, I don't know what's going to happen. It's just insane. So water temps. We're probably in the 80 some degree water temp range. Uh, air temperatures right now, it's about 74 degrees and a little bit humid. Thunderstorms later tonight. Thunderstorms tomorrow night, but it looks like we're going to be clear of on rain for the next couple days and into the tournament day. So let's get at it. My turn to start fishing. All right, guys, I've got a loud and crazy black buzz bait. Paul's got himself a little shad pattern popper. So let's see if I can make some noise across these pads and get something to whack it. Paul literally just had another blow up as I was signing off on that last clip. So let's see what we can do with this buzz bait. Paul through the popper and hopefully we'll whack a couple more. All right, guys, the sun has really come up quick. So I'm going to throw my little popper here for just a little bit. Paul's still throwing his. I gave up on the big loud black buzz bait and uh, if we can get one or two more topwater fish before the sun really beats down that'd be great otherwise we're going to go on to some other techniques to see if we can pull out a couple more of these tidal bass all right guys i'm putting up the top water paul you ready to try some other things yeah. that sun has come up quick over those short trees there's no mountains around here to block that sun so it's bright and sunny it's time to reach down within this arsenal of tidal river tackle and see what i can come up with oh there we go yeah good fish guy nice one guys got to tighten up my drag a little bit but he's hooked this is a finch nasty so guys my first fish of the day right here on a vibrating jig and it's a nice one good keeper look at that fish Isn't that great yeah it's a nice one guys look at that hooked up guys we are definitely definitely in the right place at the right time with an incoming tide a moving bait and we just made a move and that's the first fish of the day just under three probably about two and three quarters right there killer right ball yeah, man, good job. Isn't that beautiful all right going back that's a great way to start there's that beautiful finch nasty nasty thumper folks throwing that in a bunch of my videos and that's the sexy shad version the lake fork magic shad pearl with a little dipped chartreuse tail in this tannic water bright sunshine silver blade no brainer huh oh my goodness gracious paul that was a giant blow up guys paul is throwing a popper again and it is bright and sunny he just he couldn't resist it's a nice fish my gosh paul that is amazing it's not huge not it's, it's probably like three but geez what a blow up i hope you guys heard that on the chesty here go easy i'll land it don't be telling me it's a 10 pounder we know it's not huge but it's a nice a keeper one. yeah Don't yes just it. leave it in the water leave it in the water i'll go get it that's great man another great another great keeper yeah 40 pound braid right screw that i got it <laughs> look at that look at this guys you got coming off, there you go sure. don't don't bother with that i'll help you out 
man that is unreal guys okay. we are we are just destroying here you got room now to lip it and i'll back up and get a nice shot of that fish guys we're doing really well maybe an hour in paul's got a probably pushing pushing three a seven and a half i got a pushing three and yeah that's like 12 13 pounds yeah. and three fish between us killer man good job back she goes well, so much for uh, so much for saying we need to put up the top water base when the sun shines, guys. That's a testament to tannic water, pads, cover like that, and a moving tide. Yeah, it's it's a moving bait, but it happened to be on top and boom, blow up slime. Do you? Nice job, brother. Nice. Paul is on. Good job, brother. Nice job. Okay, so Paul's got himself another keeper. Finally came back at it. Three, right? Yeah, you got three. That's just barely gonna make it. Yeah, I would say just a little bit barely two pounds so paul 7.7 .7, almost three and two that's not right. bad for three fish and paul got on the nasty stumper the vibrating jig that we love so much go get another one do you nice one good job paul awesome right in the mouth of a creek another nice keeper good job man that's four for paul four keepers and that's still tournament hours even with an hour break good job brother that's nice another chatter baby i should say finch nasty nasty thumper fish all right, all right, just an awesome vibrating jig right there all white with a little chartreuse tail that's a gold blade isn't it yeah. nice job man either for a frog you're not going to get any casting distance you won't have any penetration on the long <laughs> mother of god oh my god i got destroyed guys on a whopper plop in the middle of the day oh my gosh that was incredible what a bite that was did you hear that that's a great look how deep he got it it's not great it's not gigantic guys but look at this look how hardcore he ate that in the middle of the day with an incoming i'm sorry an outgoing tide tell me i'm not excited oh my god look at look at the treble hook all the way through dude whopper plopper 75 paul is that not a beautiful thing oh, that was awesome. that's two keepers for me two almost three pounds this is three this is easily three pounds look at this look at this craziness paul's throwing a frog over there and guys it's like what is it what, one o'clock maybe 12 30 one o'clock we're catching them on top in bright sun guys never discount a top water bite whether it's sunny cloudy especially when you're around this kind of vegetation and in a tidal body of water i'm so glad i picked it up he, he just came up and destroyed he it. destroyed it dude absolutely destroyed it look at that beautiful he choked it that officially is my first no no this is not my first no this is not my first bass i caught a giant on this bait down in florida and this is only my second top water whopper popish 75 fish i believe so we're gonna put that back look how green and beautiful florida strain bass up here and the chick going back <laughs> all right decent nothing huge uh-uh <laughs> did you do it on purpose oh guys uh paul that was barely a keeper right there but i got to share paul did have a giant on didn't you i did paul had a giant on he had four plus and i wasn't recording and man how are you feeling about that uh, it's okay because it's, okay it's practice, practice right but at the same time guys i'm going to tell you right now it was four plus that means paul in tournament hours has would have had over had 18 out, yeah if we had a net out we would have had a bottom line is my man paul here has literally hooked an 18 plus pound bag that is absolutely incredible so we are having a hell of a practice day I only caught a couple but i'm happy as heck just to see what we got going on we've learned a lot so we're almost done guys tournament yeah, hours are almost done yeah between both of us man we've got some big big fish hooked on but we're gonna roll out here in a minute we're gonna try maybe catch one more but if not we've had a heck of a day like i said do you really oh yes paul has got his keeper he's got his last keeper i hope it looked pretty big didn't it Let's see what you got. You grab it? Yeah, I'll grab this. No, it's a little guy. Bring it on here. You got it. You got it. I don't think that's going to keep. But you know what, guys? That's that's close enough. Paul, you happy, dude? That's nah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to get a bigger one for his last one. But we're going to call it or are we going to keep fishing? Let's fish a little bit longer. All right. Paul is a diehard. <laughs> Paul's, a, Paul's a diehard. He wants to get that last legit keeper. Guys, we're going at it. That Finch Nasty Nasty Stumper is killing it. Uh, yeah, he's he's he wants that last one. So let's keep fishing. Do you? No, nice. Paul's got another one. How's it feel? Oh, that's a little better fish. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put my rod down. Hopefully nothing yanks it. I got this one, Paul. Paul has got his keeper. We are recording. Good deal. Oh, he boat flipped it. <laughs> Paul, you're a wild man, dude. You boat flipped after all that. He got a nice one. Paul, there's your fish, brother. Hey, guys, we have really, really had a heck of a day out here on the Chickahominy River. A big old river coming in and pouring into the uh, James. So we got, oh, that's interesting stores on that fish. Let me see that thing. Yeah, that's really kind of creepy but here's the deal we're calling it 
That's the first day of practice for the fourth stop on this FLW BFL Piedmont division. Paul, I'm excited as heck because tomorrow we are probably not going to be on the chick. We're probably going to fish down uh, a lot farther north on the James because we're going to be putting in at Osborne Landing, which is a completely different scene. Man, that was a heck of a day. Guys, as always, we appreciate you joining us. As always, we appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.